<laughs> so, uh, Rasik sir, uh, as he said that uh, he has been involved right from the very beginning when the uh, uh, Maitri station was being constructed and he carried the cement bags. And I joined a little late when the final nail was to be put on that, so just two years after that, so I put the final nail on Maitri station. And now, uh, as uh, uh, Rasik sir has already informed that uh, how we are planning to do this, uh, why, what is the necessity of having a new Maitri station and how it has been planned and how it has evolved. So I'll be just concentrating on the uh, plus points and the minus points of the new size that we have collected and the old size which exists. Right. So I'll explain that uh, uh, Maitri station is on the southern side. She marker is a big oasis. Uh, oasis is known because uh, all around it's ice and uh, am, I, am I audible? <coughs> So it's ice all around, and only a 32 square kilometer of area which is ice free, and it has got about 106 lakes uh, all around Battery Station. And the lake that we have, the pre Shuri Lake, or uh, the earlier name is Dug Lake, is the biggest lake and perhaps the biggest source of water in this area, and this is a very, very important location and a very crucial location. So we shouldn't be leaving this location. So that's why it has been decided, and the initial survey. Right, okay, fine. Yeah. So uh, the initial surveys were done in the beginning, and then there have been a couple of committees, senior committees have gone and they have ratified that the site is perfectly fine for the new Maitri station. So the present uh, station, the Maitri current structure, it sits on the southern side of the lake. And the new Maitri station is planned on the northern side, which is much more rugged compared to the site where the Maitri station sits now. But it is a much bigger area. It has got more opportunities for developing the area in a better way. And now, since we are experienced after constructing Bharati station, we have a lot of experience. We have seen Dakshin Gangotri uh, through the annals and through the files, and we have seen Maitri physically, and we have come to know that what are the problems at Maitri and how it happens and now after con constructing a, a station, Bharati station, which is a modular station, we are much more aware and we are much more confident that what we need and how the station has to be designed. So <coughs> uh, you, you can see the uh, northern part, uh, northern part from the lakeside. Right. So I have already discussed that, that uh, uh, this is a site which is more rugged compared to the much flatter site where we have. So it gives us more opportunity. Now we are thinking that the Maitri station should be a distributed station, that different facilities should be at different places. So it uh, solves the problem that we have. The current problem, one of the prime problem is an environmental issue that we draw water from the same lake. And because it's uh, in the downstream side, the water after treatment, is, everything flows back into the same lake, which is a problem. So that is why the station is planned on the other side, so that we draw the water from the lake, the current lake, which is the biggest source of water in Shirmakar area. And after treatment, we pump back it on, onto the shelf on the northern side. Everything is pumped back on the northern side. Sorry, uh, I think I, I said that Maitri, current Maitri is sitting on the northern side. It's on the southern side of the lake. I stand corrected for that. So this is the general area. It's a rugged area. So we think that uh, uh, we'll go the same way as we have gone for Bharati, that we'll have a design competition as the Council of Architecture suggests. Uh, Council of Architecture of India, we have, we'll have a design competition and we'll give a free hand to the designers that they come up with uh, brilliant ideas, we'll only give them a nuclear, that okay, this is what we want, they, uh, we want a big station, we want laboratory space, we want a power generation unit, and we want a workshop and all that, the existing things that we have. Now, the most of our vehicles, they get damaged at the last mile when they get down from the ice and when they come towards Maitri Station, that's the place where our vehicle uh, gets damaged and we require a lot of maintenance activity for that. So that is why we'll have a maintenance shed and the power generation unit and everything very close to the shelf, uh, very close to the ice edge from where we bring all our cargo. So there we'll have that and here uh, on the opposite side, on the northern boundary of the lake, we'll be having the Maitri station, which will be either a domal structure or uh, a Y-shaped structure that, that uh, will be left to the uh, uh, designers to think about. There is plenty of ground on the other side, so no dearth of space. We have a bigger space what we have at Maitri, current Maitri. 
Now, uh, 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 having the experience of constructing Bharti station, we know that the situation are totally different. At Bharti, we were constrained that we did not have any structure, and we had to have. A, we were forced that we need a modular structure so that everything is done within a stipulated period of time, and that was 127 days. The entire station building was constructed in 127 days, and a winter team was left there to winter over, ready in every aspect. Now. At the, and and the uh, m m advantage was that that we had the Bharati station is only just about 300 meters uh, from the seashore uh, from where the ship can reach. Now Maitri is an inland station. It is about 110 kilometers from the place where the ship berths, which is known as Indian Barrier. We call it Indian Barrier. So there is a huge amount of logistics. We'll take at least two years to transport all the cargo which has been sent by ship. So here the strategy has to be different, and we have a current structure, Maitri structure, which is there to lift so that uh, initial shell be cr can be created and even the, during the winter time, the construction can go on. Uh, thank you very much.